so often happens that a wrestler is halfway through a move and the bell goes and there's a cruise of delivery it out to the bell. Even Finley telling Toller to get out of the ring now. Apologized about three times already. He was halfway through the move and he couldn't stop. Well, punch right to the stomach. We all saw it. You all saw it at home. But referee only suspicious of it. Taken. Can he get him all the way? Not quite. And this punch to the head there. Johnson taking punches all over the place now. And he gets a public warning for that one now. Bob Collins explained that he knows perfectly well what for, and I'll tell you this in case you forgot. Punch to the head and to the stomach. That was a legal uppercut. Straight fingers, maybe. And still the referee suspicious of that. Certainly wasn't a chop. Just a minute to go now in the third. Nice close to oh yeah, yeah, tied that well. Back drop. Body check. Now he's taking him all the way. That's his favorite moves. Yeah, yeah, it's so all the way back. And he could get the first four here. Yes, nearly always does. Ladies and gentlemen, it's round three, and the opening fall for this contest to the red corner, Fit Finley. Well, he gets the first fall all right, but he's weakened his mind a little bit too much before, illegally. That's what Johnny Sands can tell me about. Get out of it! Seventh right, round four. Timekeeper calls for seconds out of the ring, and Paula hasn't gone yet. can get on with this fourth round. Remember that Finley in the tights and Shamrocks on the front row on the left, leading Johnny Saint by one fall and ill as we start round four. Well, we should be starting round four. Allowed to continue. All part of the same moves as Bob Collins. Surprises me. And the same thing again, no doubt. Bob Collins getting very very excited about this, but he's not getting his point over. And nice hits. Nice turn. Saints. <laughs> Good follow-up. That's a better drop kick though. That's high, but it works. He's gone over the top, Cody Cross, cross, and it's lovely. Lovely. One minute 
45 seconds into round four. The equalizing call, Johnny Sack. Oh no, that's round four, and it's an equalizer that goes to Johnny Sane. All done by speed, as we'll see now in a minute. Great speed as Johnny came off there. The side they missed completely. Johnny waiting for him to miss. And before he gets the ropes, he's got that folding press on. Really a great one. Four rounds to go to get a decider here. One fall each now, one public warning against Dave Finley. Johnny can hardly wait to get on with round five. Nice back roll right off the top. A beautiful drop kick. Left foot landing right on the jaw there. Beauty. Oh. A good drop. Flying tackle, and now from Sane, hold it. This is the one he wants. Now, just hasn't got, quite got the weight for that cross pass. Not, not unless he grabs his opponent's leg and tries to pull it back to hold the balance. Right. Double wrist lock is on the back hammer. I think. And a punch right to the stomach. Very, very obvious to all of us and to the cameras, but not unfortunately to Bob Collins, who was the other side. Just a minute to go, round five. Top rope fortunately for him, he would have landed right on top of our camera three here. Which is now shooting. 25 seconds to go, another flying tackle by Johnny Sane, can he hold this down? No, dragged off. Almost on the bell now, round five. Johnny Saint from Failsworth Master is now facing Blackpool. And he's having an extra round that he didn't expect for. Public warning for seven. Round six. Ladies and gentlemen, at the beginning of round six, Superman Vic Finley receives his second and final public warning. So that's the move. It's unlucky finish to Johnny Saint there, but it's just a question of how legally it was put on. It's very, very quick indeed. So you're 
John Harris. So. Ladies and gentlemen, that was indeed the winning fall, a submission, and the match goes to Fit Finley.